Mario. What's up everybody, it's Poonda. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install custom maps to Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. The only problem is you can only use Pocket Edition maps. There's a link in the description to a website that has a lot of maps you can use. Now once you find the map you want to download, mine is going to be Mega Epic City. You're just going to want to hit download on it. And once you hit download, it'll link you to an ad fly. You're just going to want to wait uh, 5 seconds. Now it depends what map you're downloading. In this case, I'm pretty sure it has another link after this that's going to link me to yes, BV. Dot C. You're going to want to wait. Don't click anything on there. I don't know what that is. That's something that popped up on my computer. Alright. Just want to hit skip out again. And it should just open a random pop up probably like it did for me. And then you're just going to want to hit download. And there it is right there. Epic City. And then you're just going to want to hit OK. Now once you have your map downloaded, you're just going to want to double click it. Now you're going to have, you're going to need a program called WinRAR. Now there's a link in the description to download WinRAR. And uh, once you get one more, you're just going to want to double click on the zip file. Then you're gonna, it's going to pull up like something like this. What you're going to want to do is click and drag the map right there on your desktop. Now what you're going to want to do is go down here and type in run. And once that pops up, you'll see run desktop app. You're going to click that. You're going to want to type in percent app data percent. Then you're going to click OK. Now what you're going to want to do here is you're just going to want to go up like in this bar right here. You're going to click and you're going to want to delete roaming and keep the slash and you're going to want to type in uh, local with a capital L sl uh, forward slash packages that will be in the description below as well now once you go there it will pull up a whole bunch of crap you're just going to want to scroll all the way down to until you find minecraft vwp it might be named something different but if you see microsoft dot minecraft you're going to want to open that you're going to want to local state games com dot mojang minecraft worlds and then you're going to want to drag the folder with the world that you have right into the Minecraft Worlds folder. Now once you have the world in there, you're just going to want to click the X and you're going to want to open Minecraft. Now once Minecraft is open up, I'm sorry for the lag, uh, my computer's not the best thing in the world. You're going to want to hit play and the world should show up under any worlds you have created or maybe above. And you're just going to want to click on it and it should open. Give it a second and boom. Now I downloaded a city map on here and uh, as you can see here it is. It looks really really good which is great. There shouldn't be any problems with it. Now like, like I said at the beginning the only disappointing part is, is that you have to use PE maps, pocket edition maps and there's not a problem with that because there's a really lot of good, there's a lot of good pocket edition maps out there. And this map is just called city map and I'm pretty sure the title has the name of the thing in it I just didn't read it. And sorry for the lag like I said my PC is not the best. And plus it's trying to load so much stuff in. So that's it for this video guys. If you like, please smack that like button. And also hit the subscribe button for more juicy content like this. I'm Punda. Peace.